guys, I'm Jen Houston, and welcome to Shut Your Cake Hole, where we talk about cakes, cakes, and cakes. Well, it's summertime, which means bridal season. All of my other baker friends are making scads of wedding cakes, so I decided to join the party and make a till death do us part cake. Follow along, if you dare. This is gonna be a days long process, so I'm sending the crew home and filming on my own. I'm starting my 3D undead bride cake on an 18 inch square cake board, which I've covered in decorative paper and covered in contact paper. And I wanna use this acrylic cupcake stand as armature, so I've just punched a hole in the center of my board and taped the base to the bottom of my board. Now I can build the bride's torso and neck and head, and it will be nice and steady. So now I'm wrapping the acrylic posts with a little aluminum foil to give my cake something to grab onto. Now I'm taking one of the other levels of the cupcake stand and using it as a work board. I want to give a little stability to her skull and make sure it doesn't slip down the acrylic post. So I've got a nice big washer and a small cake board cut out to lend the support. Now I'm just wrapping some more foil sheets and binding them with some floral tape, which are both food safe. And I'm using several sheets of foil to begin the center of her head and securing it with some more floral tape. Now, to make her face. I've used this basic plastic skull face a few times before and I love it. I've made a silicone mold of it and I'm gonna press in some homemade gum paste or pastelage, if you will. I'm just gonna roll it out to be about a quarter of an inch thick and then I'm pressing it into my mold. And I'm gonna let it sit there for about an hour or so. Then I'm gonna unmold it and place it back over the plastic skull to finish drying it. At least 24 hours. I'm back to really begin the skull building process. I'm melting some marshmallows, which I will smear generously all over my little tin foil ball. And I'm using Cocoa Krispies because why not? Now that I've got my skull basically the shape and size I'm looking for, it's time to prep the face area to be fitted with the gum paste mold I made yesterday. I'm gonna put a nice layer of white chocolate to hold it in place. And I've got her fitted nicely. So let me wrap her up in some plastic wrap and let her cool completely. I love you too, buddy, but you cannot be up here. So while my skull is chilling in the fridge, I'm gonna make some creepy dead isomalt eyes. Isomalt is a form of sugar, and when you melt it down and let it firm back up again, it looks like glass. I've taken a little wafer paper, and I'm going to actually paint on what I want my eyeball to look like. A little edible paint. I'm just gonna take a spoonful, and I'm just gonna lay my edible paper iris on top and then I will tint a little more isomalt white. There we go. And then I'm gonna lay that right on top of part A. And now we wait. Cool. It's meant to be a little milky like that, and all that's gonna take to clear that up is a little flame. And to keep it from getting frosty again, I'm gonna give it some edible glaze spray. Now, back to our skull. I'm going to cover the back of her head with some modeling chocolate slash fondant to match the stark white gum paste face. Now, I spent several hours adding thin little strips of the same combo to make it look like rotting skin. Whew! All right, you guys, you still with me? Now, I'm gonna take my skull and put it onto the actual cake board. It's like the exorcist. I added a bit of eyelid, brow, and a rotting nose and dripping mouth. I used some airbrush colors to make kind of a dried blood effect. So now I'm gonna build her torso out of peanut butter cake that I have made. And I'm going to fill them with some chocolate ganache. Build up her neck a little bit with some of this cake and ganache. Maybe I'll give her a little boobage. I don't want her to look too full, but I want there to be enough cake to go around as well. 
So I'm trying to split the difference between full-on skeleton and healthy gal. She not healthy. She been through something. <laughs> I'm not getting fresh. It's just the way it's done. Are guys gonna sexualize this? I don't want boobs covered in chocolate. She got to go into the chiller. No! You bastard! God damn it! She's too fucking tall. While my girl is chilling in the fridge, I am starting to make some paper flowers with my edible wafer paper. Just gonna cut a spiral. I'm gonna wet the inside arc. Just start rolling and pinching. And here's a little edible rosebud. I am fascinated with death. Love all things paranormal, but uh, I'm absolutely simultaneously terrified of corpses. But people ask me all the time, why do you partake in the macabre skeletons and whatnot? And I think maybe it's instead of running away from the fear, you go into it, you know? Veil on her. I just sneaked in some chocolate peanut butter cup essence into this fondant so it wouldn't be so boring. She's dead, she's not tasteless. Appetizing? Woohoo! I'm getting some edible watercolors here so I can shade her skin, her bones, her rotting flesh. I'm just try to lightly pattern her dress with a little lace pattern. Speaking of lace, I'm gonna make a little bit of quick lace. This is edible airbrush. She needs some time alone and I need some time alone. So let's let her sit overnight and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and uh, we'll see where we're at. Nighty night. All right, you guys, I am finally done with my Till Death Do Us Part bride. We have made a skull out of pastelage and modeling chocolate and rice krispie treats and we've made wafer paper roses and isomalt glass eyes and i've shown you how to carve a torso out of cake and airbrush and create a terrible skin condition i'm not going to cut into her and take a bite today because i'm actually making this for someone so you will have to just imagine what that peanut butter chocolate fudge cake is gonna be like. And drum roll with you please. If you are in the New York area and you would love a custom cake by moi, give me a holler. I'm gonna open back up for all of y'all starting in September. In the meantime, I think you and I need a selfie. 
doesn't she look like she's getting ready to say, shut your cake hole. <laughs>